Hi everyone, this is Hank with Ergo Answers here in San Antonio, Texas. And all of us here are hoping that you and your families are safe and doing well in this troubling time. So anyway, what we'd like to do today is help you to work better at home, especially now that so many more people are working at home on their laptops. And that's what we're gonna focus on right now is working with your laptop. We'll do some more a little bit later on different things of uh, tips and working at home. So we're going we're gonna to talk a little bit about what the issues are and how hopefully to alleviate them. So the first thing is, what are the problems, what are the issues? Well, most people sit with their laptop and they sit like this. They lean forward, they tilt that, they lift their head up to see better here. And this is what we call the turtle. We call it the turtle because it's got a little turtle head sticking up. The problem with this is that it puts a lot of strain on your lower back, on your neck, on your shoulders, everything. When you sit here all day long doing this, the other thing it does is you're moving your wrists like this, back and forth planted. It puts a lot of pressure on your wrists as well. So the little project we have to do today, which is something that you can do with things you have around the house mostly, I, you should have most of them or you can easily get them. Um, will help you with this and what we're good here's what we're gonna shoot for what we're gonna shoot for is getting this laptop up for a couple of reasons one it gets keyboard higher so you don't want to lean into it it gets it closer also to you and that helps keep you back in your chair so you want to sit back in your chair it also provides an angle here to where you're not reaching up and over, planting your wrists and doing this all day and putting a lot of pressure on your wrists if you're sitting back or when you're leaning forward, the same kind of thing. Your wrists are straighter, but you're putting a lot of pressure on your elbows and you're pivoting your hands like this all day at the wrist, which puts a lot of pressure on it. So what we want to do is we're going to want to get the laptop like this and with what we're going to build, you'll be able to find that exact place where your wrists here let me where your wrists aren't bent up like that or bent down like that to where they're close like this to where it fits you nicely and this is you can set it up exactly to what your needs are whether you're sitting whether you get down in your chair a little bit or whether you sit up you sit up higher than this look it's a little bit lower if you get down a little bit now I'm not a huge stickler on every little thing about posture. What I try to tell people is do what works for you. And if you notice problems, know how to correct them. So if you sit down a little bit like this, like I do, it could start to bother your lower back. If it is, you might need to move up. Well, with this, you'll be able to adjust to it. So let's get going. We're going to stop for a minute, get everything ready, and then we'll go into the project. What we're going to do today is we're going to build an adjustable laptop stand where you can find that right angle for you. And you might want to just go and try to get some towels or a cookie tray or books or something and set it up. Now, the problem with that is it's real easy to launch your laptop on the floor, uh, just slide off. It's really difficult to get the correct posture for your wrist. So let's go through this and then you can decide what you want to do. So this is the box I use, basically. Uh, it's pretty simple. The, the cardboard is pretty thin. If you can see, it's corrugated cardboard. And I'm using this MacBook Air to make it for. So you, you need to look at what your laptop is. If it's a fairly new, light laptop, you could go with this easily. If it's a larger, like this old compact that's thicker and heavier, you might want to go with a little bit more cardboard. However, this may do the job. It, it's pretty good. Uh, we'll, we'll point out a few issues later that uh, you want to be aware of. So this is what we're going to start with. What I did was I just took some cardboard and I, I made it about the width, but this, if you can see, is a little bit narrower. If I, when I do it again, I'll make the cardboard the exact same width of the laptop. That'll make it a whole lot easier for when you're uh, rubber banding it down. So when you, when you do that, you, that's your width. That's going to be your width. Mine's, if it's a little bit narrower, it doesn't matter. If it's a little bit wider, it doesn't matter. But I think that might be just the easiest overall. 
These are 11 and a quarter inches wide and 15 and a half inches long. And like I said, you can use the same uh, depth, make sure that your laptop will fit on it, and you can do all that when we see it in a minute. The other thing I have here is, uh, if you can see it here, uh, I have a pencil on here. And what I did was I glue gunned this pencil on here. And what that does is it provides a stop for the edge of the laptop to hold it up here. And why did I use a short pencil? I cut it off of, of this whole pencil. It's so there's a place for my wrist to go when I'm working on the laptop and won't be resting on a lip with a full pencil there. Now, I used a little coping saw, which is easy, but I also went ahead and uh, practiced with it. And if you've got a good pair of shears or just a decent pair of scissors, you can cut through it. The problem with it is it leaves a ragged edge and you might want to put a little piece of tape over that so that you don't hit it and uh, irritate or cut your skin there. So get these two pieces of uh, cardboard here. Now, the next step is looking at where you want to put folds. And here, let me show you real quick how it's going to look. It's going to look like this. The two pieces go together and then it's going to build up like the bend up like this. So the next, the me next important measurement is this part right here. Now with this laptop, I didn't go all the way up. I didn't make it the whole distance. You can decide on that, just enough to support the laptop. I've got a fold here. I've got a little fold or a bend here. This is, this is just like a quarter of an inch. The second one is eight inches. The third one is five inches. That's how high up you might want it. I did it about five inches. Uh, you can play with that. And the last one's just a little lift to where we've got some support with, uh, with uh, rubber bands and that's two and a half inches. Now what do I need, mean by a fold and how do we do that? Now, there's a couple different ways. Now, if you look at this table here, it's got rounded edges, but it's got a straight one at the top. And I'll just demonstrate real quick with this. Basically, you just take it and you get it right where you want it. What I would do is measure to where you get it just how you want it, straight and everything and then bend it like that and it puts a crease here. And once you put the crease in there, then you can bend it up and that's a fold. And that makes it to where it's got a hinge on it. So put that together. And then once you get the two parts put together, you get your, your glue gun and you put your uh, pencil right up here for your stop. And you've got your little quarter inch bend here. All you do is you put them together and you can either glue gun this or tape it and put it together. Now, something to remember here, a couple of things. One, be very careful when you're working with all this. It's real easy to drop your laptop. So make very sure you don't do that, uh, of course. But I just want everybody to have that in the back of their mind while they're working so they don't accidentally go, oops, it's on the floor. And it's real easy to do when you start playing around with books and. Uh, cookie sheets and all those kind of things to find a way to set this up. So there you have it. We've just got our two pieces of tape. Now we've got a hinge there that allows it to go up and down. And uh, this sets our angle quite easily. Now, remember also that this is, this is cardboard. It's going to be rubber bands, tape, and glue gun glue. So this isn't, this isn't a heavily manufactured product. So you've got to be careful with it. Now, it'll last a good amount of time. I've worked with this for days now. I've taken it apart, put it back together. It holds up very well, but you got to remember what it is. The other thing is you got to make sure, and this is something we'll do, you don't want it to be sliding. Look how that slides, sliding around here. So when we put rubber bands around here, when they go across the bottom, they provide some traction and help stop it there. So I've got these rubber bands at uh, one of the office stores, Office Depot. Um, you, if you don't have any rubber bands like this, these are pretty good, pretty heavy. Uh, you can uh, probably find them at, I would imagine you can find rubber bands at Walgreens or something like that. If you don't want to go out, you can probably find something, which I'm not telling you to go out, believe me. Uh, you can uh, find them uh, find things in your house. You can find old rubber bands 
that you've had laying around and loop them together to make them longer if you need them longer to wrap them around so uh, just just do what you did just do what you can anyway so we want to put a couple more bins on here this one here is going to be for traction put it right here at the bottom and that's going to help see it adds traction it helps hold this whole thing on the table and this one here will be for traction but it'll also be to help hold our platform now one of the things i did you can see it on this one on this side here i cut a couple little notches here and what that's for is if you want to lock your rubber band in you can put a few little notches here so when you move this back and forth and put the rubber band it'll be held pretty firmly in there and i've got a little notch right up here as well on each side where the rubber band will fit now you can see this is not the prettiest best made thing you can you can definitely make the cuts better etc and you can even have, work with your kids paint it up put stickers on it whatever you want to do this is also something that could work for your kids if they're at home working uh, doing remote schooling so here we go we've got this so what this would do is it would just fit under here and then I need one more rubber band and I forgot to put it on so we'll go ahead and put it on real quick this one is what's going to hold the laptop on now, you could even put a couple of rubber bands on here. You could put one down here to hold the lip, and you could put, let's go ahead and do it. Let's put another one here a little bit higher up where we can hold it. Now, we're going to have to look and see how that works with the, the keyboard. I might, this might be a reason to make this longer to where you can get up beyond the keys. I'm just noticing that. So that's, that's an enhancement right now you can, you can look at doing. Here, we'll put this down here and then move it up. The other thing is, again, this is tape and rubber bands, etc. So once you get it set up to where you want it, I put at least another rubber band, maybe two on here. And if you want to, if you don't plan on moving it, just go ahead and glue gun it or tape it so it's stuck there and it won't slide down. Now if it slides down, it'll do so pretty slowly. If you have two rubber bands, if one breaks, it'll still hold it and will slowly go down. One of the things uh, you got to watch is when, when you, if you get an angle that's pretty low with this and you have a heavier laptop, you may need to uh, place something under this to help hold it up. So if you get it down at a low angle like this and put that laptop on there, this is going to want to go down. It's going to be hard to hold it. So take something like this tape, just stick it under there. You're good to go. See, you can just put this on here. You have to put it in the middle, of course. There you go. That'll hold it just fine. So let's go back to what we were doing. So let's uh, slide this up. Let's get our laptop on here, the one we're working with. And you can see that the platform's a little bit narrower. It's about an inch and a half narrower than my laptop. If when I rebuild it, I'll. Uh, I'll make it a little bit larger so that I don't have to pull these rubber bands out so far. So there you go, that's, that's it. So it's kind of hard to move here because I've got the rubber bands on the bottom. It's sitting here nicely. So this won't go up high, well maybe it will. Looks like it will, there you go. You can put it on the top. So we've got it well secured there. Get it right here to the edge. Figure out about how we sit. Relax your shoulders. Get your legs out. That's actually not too bad. That angle right there. That's pretty good. Can you see how my angles are, my uh, wrists are pretty straight? So one thing, once you put the, the notches in, it's harder to move around. I wouldn't put any notches in it on the cardboard here until you decide uh, exactly where you want it. So once you get it up here higher, and you sit up, see how my wrist is bent there? What, what, what happens there is that bends your wrist up, it extends your wrist, and that increases intracarpal tunnel pressure. Uh, so you want to get that down. The other thing that increases it is when you move your hands like this. So, 
Getting your hands down here like this and doing more of a typing motion like this is better. Now you can move pretty good like this, but if you're having any kind of wrist problems, you want everything straight, you want everything relaxed. Here, let me lower this down again. You want everything relaxed and you don't want to bend your wrist much at all. You want it straight and you want to move your hands straight. Keep, this takes a little bit to learn, but keep your wrist straight. Don't sit there and do this. Go like this. So there you go. So this, this is really it. Um, I'll finish up by putting some more rubber bands on here. Move it in and out. Uh, work with it. Um, it's portable. So if you have any questions, please send us a line. You can find out more about us and for, more about me to see who, who the guy is that's telling you all this. Uh, go to nlaustin.com and you can click on our about page or ergonomics page and uh, send us your questions. I look forward to seeing those of you out there who go out and do this, make it better, make it prettier, etc. And uh, hopefully we'll get through this all together. And I know we will, not hopefully. So uh, have a great day and uh, take care. Thank you. I'm still here in the kitchen working with this a little bit more and we've already made a few enhancements and one of them is we noticed we started to get some wear edges on the cardboard so we've gone ahead and taped the edges where the rubber bands will be to help hold it better. We've also taped the joints to add a little bit more strength to them and to make it last longer. But then what we also did is for portability if you have it all set up and on the top part here if you make a fold in the bottom board in the same spot as the top one, you can fold it up, put a rubber band around it, round it, throw it in your backpack or whatever bag you have and take it wherever you're going. Everybody take care. Thanks a lot.